It's time for me to build a base. And what better base is there than one made out of blocks you can't destroy? The mausoleum is unminable. You can't use TNT and you can't even use a dragon to break in. Today I'm going to take over a mausoleum and turn it into my base. Inside of it are spawners of many different undead creatures. So I'll have to take them all on and clear them out before I can call it my home. To make it even more secure, I will reinforce the structure with multiple layers of obsidian and water. This thing right here is going to be my war base. I'm not saying there's a war going on on Dependent. HMP, but who knows? Someday there might be. Wink wink. If you don't want to miss that, you should consider subscribing. Okay, first step. Finding a mausoleum. Found one. Well, that was fast. For anyone that doesn't know, these structures spawn in cold biomes, and to be honest, they aren't that rare. You'll probably find one in every cold biome you come across. Now let's get ready to collect the resources we need to take over the mausoleum and expand it. But first, I need to fulfill my promise from the last episode. I was there to fight a stage 5 dragon, and I failed. So I asked you guys for punishments, and quite a few of them came in. Yeah, when it's about punishing me, you guys are all ready to jump in. As always, I'm placing all the comments into the spinning wheel. And the punishment I get is fight a dragon with a pumpkin on my head. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, I guess I'll be fighting a dragon almost blindfolded at some point in this episode. To be honest, this punishment is one of the nicer ones. One of them said to kill every panda on the server. I mean, that's my own kind. I had to talk to my therapist about that one. Okay, let's get back to today's mission. Step number two is the collection of resources. I want to get everything ready so that after I take out all the undead creatures, I can directly start with the build. I'm saying that like it's going to be an easy fight, but it's not. They are extremely deadly, especially in big numbers. So besides the many, many obsidian blocks I have to get, I'm going to need an upgrade for basically my whole defensive equipment. Starting with the bow. This one only has a little bit of durability left and it just costs too much XP to repair it. So I'm going to switch it out with a stronger one, the dragon bow. To craft it, I will need a wither bone and two dragon bones, along with strings, which I already have. But for the wither bone, I need to enter the nether. Our objective is to find a nether fortress because of the wither skeletons that spawn there. Okay, this is not a nether fortress, but maybe this nether temple has something useful. Oh, I forgot about the TNT trap. And all the loot is gone. That's cool. Just found a random blaze spawner here. Sadly, no nether fortress attached, but I'll snatch a couple of blaze rods. We got like 8. Wow, there are a lot of people online today. Stick to the end to find out how to join the Pandas HMP. Finally located the stronghold. Just need to find a way over there. Three Wither Skeletons are already on the bridge. Just one of them has to drop one. They didn't. Oh, we dropped one. Another one. The third one too. The first three didn't drop any and the next three all dropped one. What are the odds of that? I've teleported back to the overworld. The final pieces that are missing are the dragon bones. I only got one dragon bone on me. I need another one. Normally I should be able to find a dragon skeleton somewhere randomly. I should also check the chests inside the dragon nest. They may have dragon bones in them. Nope, nothing. Well this isn't a dragon skeleton but a skeleton horse which already has a saddle on it. That's kind of perfect. I'll ride it to the nearest base at spawn. This is one of them. Actually quite a nice build, but I've checked it already and they didn't have a dragon bone for me. This is another one. I think it's the biggest one right now and it's known as the trio base, if I remember correctly. Oh, they have plenty of dragon bones. Need to ask for permission first to take some. Permission granted. Now I can craft the almighty dragon bow. These guys already have massive dragons and I'm here crafting my first dragon bow. I have a lot of catching up to do. The next step is to enchant the dragon bow. So I'm gonna need a lot more XP. To get them, I'll mine some quartz. We got 30 levels, so let's head back. Another good thing about this base are the villagers. I'm quickly gonna use the sticks to get some more emeralds, and then I'm gonna use the emeralds to buy some books, because they got some villagers selling mending and infinity and all that good stuff. I haven't been here since episode 2. Looks like they upgraded this place. Even got a storage now. But what I want is the enchantment section over here. Yes, flame. Alright, I hope it would add another enchantment on it, but flame is already pretty good. Now I'll just add all the other enchantment books on it. I don't have power on my bow yet, so I'm gonna have to get more XP to get more enchantments. While mining to get XP, my friend and I found a Ferris Rod Nut. If you've seen my very first modded Minecraft series, you'll probably remember my friend. We thought maybe this guy will drop some big amount of XP. It's probably also a good preparation for the mausoleum raid. So now you get to see the two of us try to beat this beast.
the big man is defeated. We've decided to split up the loot, he keeps the helmet and the weapon and I get the achievement. Didn't really give me any XP but uh, was an epic fight. This is where we split up and I go continue to get XP and enchant the bow. I've crafted another dragon bow to enchant. It says I'm breaking 3, now hopefully there will also be the power enchantment. Power 3? You know what, I'll take that. Once I combine these two, I will have a pretty strong weapon. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Now that I'm done enchanting my dragon bow, I'm going to move on to the punishment. I'm going to try to find a ice dragon because I believe that's going to be the easiest target since, you know, we've got a flame bow. Oh my god, no! Skelly horse! Okay, I'm not- I'm- I'm not even gonna put a blindfold on. Oh my god. Stop, stop, stop. Stop. Oh. Ooh, if I didn't get that golden apple in, I I'd be dead right now. Come on. How many hits does this take? I got a dragon bow now. Should be stronger than before. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Yes! We got it! Finally, this guy survived for a long time, dude. Ooh, and we get a lot of levels. All right, let's see what this bad boy will drop. Hopefully a lot of scales, because this is actually one of the bigger ones that you can find roaming on top of the earth. 54? Okay, that's just insane. That's just insane, dude. And there's a Hydra. How is it? Wait, it was a stage four dragon. I just defeated a stage four. Dragon. Okay, I'm lucky I didn't put on the blindfold because if I did, I'd be dead right now. Wait, did my skeleton horse die? No, Skelejuan. Oh my god, it did. It burned. Oh my god. <laughs> no. This is the last piece of Skelejuan. Oh my god, I'm sorry to whoever this horse belonged to. You know what? We're going to name this bone. This is Skelejuan. He will always be remembered. Alright, I still gotta find an ice dragon to complete my punishment. The thing is, you know, the dare says I have to fight a dragon with a carved pumpkin on my head. But as you can see, it does not give me any bindness. So it basically would just be me fighting a dragon normally. To actually make it a punishment, I decided to use the blindfold. And I can't see a damn thing with this. I mean, not even in F5. Okay, we found an ice dragon. This is it. Ooh, okay. I'm actually really nervous for this because once I put the blindfold on, I really can't see a thing. I can only see like five blocks in front of me. How am I going to play this? I think it's time we put on the blindfold. Okay, okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Please don't let me die. Now, where exactly is the dragon? Okay, I saw it swing. I saw it swing. Am I hitting it? I have no idea what I'm shooting at. I have no idea. Okay, okay, there's definitely the ice dragon. Ooh. Ooh. Wait, these arrows are bouncing back. Does that mean the dragon is dead? The dragon is dead. We, are, we already defeated it. Man, my heart is beating really fast. It's pretty scary to attack a dragon while not seeing a damn thing. Now that the punishment is complete, we can focus on our mission. In order to complete the mission, we do have to collect a couple more things. This includes obsidian. Also, we need to upgrade our pickaxe. Then I think it's time to upgrade our armor because we are going to go inside of that. There are many, many deadly creatures in there. And I really need to be prepared for that. Oh yeah, by the way, I got Juan back. I'm currently heading back to the base that the others built because I need all of the enchanting gear they have there. And we have arrived. Now I just need a place to put Juan in. I guess I'll just put him in here for now. All right, let's go back down here. Here's the enchanting table and let's get to work. Okay, so I just got gifted another set of dragon scale armor. I guess I got two now. Hell is really brutal. I mean, look at these pigs in those cages. They've got no remorse for their own kind. All right, as soon as we reach level 39, we are going to head back to enchant our gear. And we've reached level 39. Okay, enough messing around. We really gotta get this equipment ready. Now with 40 levels, we can enchant our full armor at level 30. I think we're gonna risk it again. It worked last time. Should work again. And it did. Let's see. Just unbreaking. Okay, that's uh, that's unfortunate. Death Rider. We only got 30 levels left, so I guess that's our only option. And I'm breaking three. At 
at least we got that. And there we have it. This is our equipment for now. All right, let's put it on our pickaxe. Forging three, efficiency four. Now we do need mending on there. And luckily they do have a mending villager. And there we go, another mending book. To be honest, I'm saving all the really, really good enchantments for our dragon steel armor, which, you know, it's not coming very soon, but we'll get there. I think this will be a good diamond pickaxe to farm some obsidian. We've got a big lake of lava and now it's time to get all this obsidian. And the first one got burned already. Okay, that's a good start. To be honest, I don't even know how much obsidian we need. I'm just gonna mine a lot and hope that it's gonna be enough. All of the obsidian that was here is already mine. I've got like a little bit over 10 stacks of obsidian. I don't know if that's gonna be enough for the whole build, but I'm just gonna go with it. So you know what that means? It's time to raid the mausoleum. Ooh. Okay, let's, let's go. We're back at the mausoleum. I'm gonna use the enderpearl glitch. Let's head inside. Okay, we're in, we're in. We're inside of the mausoleum. Spawner number one is down. I'm gonna wait till the end to loot all of these chests. For now, I gotta focus on these creatures. Spawner number two is down. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That scared the hell out of me. This guy is huge. Okay, okay, how am I gonna do this? That's a big one. That's a big one. Oh my god. Why do they get increasingly larger? This is... This is not... Dude, I know they're not doing that much damage, but the size of them just, just creeps me out. I'm not sure how I'm gonna clear this level up here. Could I make a run for it or no? Ooh. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. Fill up. Ooh. Oh my god, oh my god. I really need to get rid of the spawner before something spawns. Yes, another spawner down. Look at them, all grouped right below me. This is perfect because one lava bucket and they are all gone. What? Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh my God, oh my God. Dude, I'm shaking, I'm shaking. Okay, right in there, where all of these mobs are, that's the main room. If we can get in there and remove the spawners in there, we are done. Ooh, that was annoying. We're almost in the final room. There we go. That's where I wanted it. Gonna flow right on top of everybody. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, there's a spawner right here. That's why they spawned in here. Ooh, well, mystery solved. Okay, how many spawners are left? I think there's like two of them, maybe? We're almost there, baby. We're almost there. I can see the last two. One down. And the second one is down. I think that was all of them. That was quite a piece of work. All right, my inventory is full. Oh, we got Dread Knight Sword. 17 attack damage. I guess it's time to loot all of these chests and clean up a bit. We cleared a mausoleum. All right, it is time to expand this build. And let's quickly get rid of the last undead creature. Goodbye. Oh, look at the damage my armor took. You know, it's kind of perfect that I have Death Rider on my boots. This is helping me a lot right now. I'm currently under the mausoleum and I've cleared a bit of space here. I think it's only a couple more layers to the bottom, then we'll be ready to start adding obsidian. So it really is like two or three more layers. Alright, it's done. The entire bottom layer of the mausoleum, I mean the dirt and sand and all that, is gone. Alright, let's whip out the obsidian and we can start to add this bottom layer. Okay, so this layer I'm looking at is going to be another layer of obsidian. And then here is going to be water and right down here will be another layer of obsidian. This is my last stack of obsidian and as you can see, I am nowhere near being done. So I guess I'll have to collect some more obsidian. 
All right, that was it. We've got a little bit over 10 stacks again. Hopefully this will be enough to finish the build. Let's continue with the build. Last couple of blocks and this layer is officially complete. Now let's get to the last one. Okay, it looks like we finally have enough obsidian and that was the last piece. The final layer is now built. I don't know if this is the safest base ever, but it's definitely secure and the obsidian definitely added a layer of safety. Now comes the last part. We're going to place some walls all around this build. Now I'm gonna place them all around the mausoleum just like this. At some point, we are going to add a bunch of creatures and chain them up to the wall. With creatures, I mean like an elder guardian, so the players have mining fatigue or sea serpents which will make your life pretty hard if you try to raid the space now i'm just gonna add a little bit of decoration okay this is it this is what the mausoleum looks like now. That is it for this build. Every episode, I pick 10 players to be whitelisted for the Pandas HMP, which is the server I'm currently playing on. If you'd like to join, let me know in the comments with the hashtag mausoleum. If for some reason, this is the first video you've watched from my modded hardcore series, then I suggest you go watch the others, starting with this one.